On the industrial level itself, we have one more very, very important uh, thing where we are using these microbes. It is to obtain some important chemicals, some important uh, biological molecules and some enzymes also. So here we will be using it to obtain chemicals, enzymes, and some biomolecules of very, very high importance. Like one interesting example is, which is very common, all of us, you know, we uh, experience this. Uh, in India, the food which we prepare has turmeric in it. It has oil in it. And many times it happens that if you're wearing a dress of your choice, you go out for a party, and you spill that, you know, curry or something on your dress. And suppose that dress is like lighter in color, white or something, you know, you're going to run to wash it. We wash it, you know, though we are science students, but we keep committing such kind of mistakes. You are trying to remove oil with water. Oil and water are immiscible liquids. We have been taught this in our junior class. But we still try to remove that oil with water. Now when it doesn't go, we start using soap. It was taught to us in junior class that soap is basic. And turmeric gives a red color with a base. So that yellow spot of turmeric, that oil, everything turns red. And then you go to that dry cleaner asking that him or her to remove this stain. What do they do? They look at the strain, they ask you that it is going to be expensive, you are willing to pay that extra amount, and then what do they do? They put two things on it. One, they put lipase. It is a fat digesting enzyme. From where do they get this lipase in that bottle? It was obtained or it was prepared by some microbe. Like yeast? So you can get these enzymes prepared by microbes. So these microbes are actually acting as micro factories for you. They are preparing those chemicals for us. And this lipase digests fat or oil. So oil is gone. This we obtain from the microbes. And then they use bleach so that the yellow color also goes off. So this lipase is obtained by using microbes. So this is like that important biomolecule or enzyme that we are talking about. Similarly, the juices which we make at home, they're pure, we don't add anything into it. No preservative, nothing. Many times we don't even add water into it. It's like pure juice. But if you look at the glass of that juice, it is not clear, it is a little turbid. You find those tiny particles, you know, in that. Whereas if you purchase fruit juice from the market, the packaged juice, it is clear. It may be colored, but it is clear, see-through. Now, what do they do? They also take the juice out from the fruits. Those small particles which remain in the juice are nothing but the cell wall. Because when you crush the fruit, its cell, its walls, everything gets cr crushed. So they use enzymes to digest those uh, particles like pectinates, cellulase. So those are also enzymes. Pectinase, cellulase and your juice becomes clear. And then we, you know, for that, though they have preservative in it, we still pay more for that. So we go for something which looks good as compared to something which is healthier. Then let us come to some other chemicals like acids. There are some organic acids which we need for multiple uh, purposes like citric acid, uh, acetic acid, butyric acid, lactic acid and we use microbes for them. So chemicals or acids are acetic acid and the microbe that we use is aspergillus niger. These questions are asked in match the column type. 
Then acetobacter acid is used for acetic, oh, sorry, that is citric acid. This is acetic acid is acetobacter acid. Acetobacter acid. And this is for citric acid. Citric acid is aspergillus niger. The next one is lactic acid. That is lactobacillus. And the last one is butyric acid. And here we use clostridium butylicum. Clostridium butylicum. So these things will be asked in match the column. So we are using all these microbes to obtain these organic acids. Like acetic acid, for example, we use it to make vinegar. Citric acid, you all know, is used in so many places. Lactic acid in curd, anyways, we use. So these organic acids are used for many, many different things. Now let us talk about three very important biomolecules. One is... Uh, Streptokinase. The one important one is streptokinase. Streptokinase is used as a clot buster. And the microbe used to obtain this or to produce this is streptococcus. Streptococcus is the bacterium. So we use this and it is used as a clot buster. It is said that within half an hour of any kind of hemorrhage, if this is given, then it dissolves the clot. It is very effective in dissolving the fresh clot. Then another one is cyclosporin. Cyclosporin A is used as immunosuppressant. After organ transplantation, the immunity system or immunity uh, of our body needs to be suppressed. And cyclosporin A is that immunosuppressant which is given. The fungus which is used to produce this is trichoderma polyspora. Trichoderma polyspora. So here also we are using microbes to obtain the product, products of our interest. Another one is statin. Statin is again a very important thing and many a times people get confused why we use this a statin. It says that it is used, uh, it is produced by using a, an yeast, Monascus purpureus. Monascus purpureus. It is the yeast. It is a type of yeast. And they say that it lowers blood cholesterol. Actually, statin doesn't lower blood cholesterol. It will not let new cholesterol form. So, if you read the last line of this, which is given, it says, as blood cholesterol lowering agent, it acts by competitively inhibiting the enzyme responsible for synthesis of cholesterol. So it is going to compete with the substrate to bind with the enzyme so that cholesterol production decreases. It's not going to dissolve the cholesterol which is already there in your body. So these are again three very, very important uh, microbes and the products which we obtain from them.